Euro is kind of backing that up with a second upper trough kind of rotating around this big upper low that would reinforce that. And this upper pattern based on the Euro would be great news for us in terms of the tropics. I'll explain why in a second. Two name storms, Fiona still a monster of a storm with a cat four. And then the area that we're watching very closely, I've been closely monitoring the data coming in from the national, uh, the hurricane hunters that have been flying into Invest 99. And they're not finding any kind of semblance of rotation or even a spin. So what we do see on satellite really isn't uh, reaching the surface. Dry air and wind shear really keeping this as a weak, unorganized system. So again, just kind of looking at the way things are now before we get into model data, there is nothing there. There isn't a named storm. There isn't an organized storm, which means the computer models do struggle. Now, with that said, the models have been consistently one calling for something to develop and two, at least in the near future, all going about the same path up toward the northwest and then due west because of an upper high sitting just to the north. Then the question comes in toward the end of the weekend and next week. We do see them splitting, but we see a little bit more of a consensus a bit farther to the east, which is what the GFS has been saying. And again, near the tip of Cuba would be better for us because it looks like we keep it more in the extreme eastern Gulf or over Florida as we head into early next week or really mid to late next week. So this is still a long term forecast. So here's the GFS run. GFS has it much farther to the west because of an upper high basically sitting right over South Florida and western Cuba. That would allow the storm to get much more into the central Gulf, taking it a little closer to Louisiana before rotating around the upper high and into Florida. So that's the GFS putting it much closer to us. The Euro is where we've seen some of the models now shifting more western Cuba, the upper high high, far weaker, and this upper trough much, much deeper, which would begin pulling the storm very quickly. It actually may start interacting with land by midweek, a week from today, and then quickly moving north and out into the Atlantic and then gone. Looks like another upper trough deepens for us. This would be more of a fall like pattern with several upper troughs and folks have been asking, won't we see a cold front? This type of pattern would uh, provide that blocking pattern that we would need to keep anything well away from us. So that is the pattern that we would like to see. We will see how things evolve over the coming days, but it's interesting to see a lot of the models now shifting to be more along the lines of the Euro. Tomorrow